So this is a quick test flight from Manchester to Frankfurt HAHN. Flying a KLM uh, 7879-9 I think. Uh, 787, yes. So it's very hard to find some freeware aeroplanes. So fingers crossed this one works. I am on Flight Simulator X because I'm not too keen on the new Flight Simulator. Personal preference. I've not got used to it yet. So I do apologise for that. Normally I can record it better, but I'm having a bit of computer issues, so I'm having to use a camcorder to record this. Okay, shift and P, let's go. So, hopefully this should be fine. Just going to wait for this vehicle here to disappear. I will make a better video later showing off what basically um, what I can do I've not been on this for a very long time so I'm a bit rusty so I do apologize hope you can see this all right I normally use OBS studio to record this but for some reason the settings ain't allow me to use my second display so yep yeah. I'm waiting for this pushback vehicle to shift out of my way so that it can start taxiing. I do need to add some flaps. I don't have a rudder set up at the moment. I did used to have a uh, flight yoke, but I got rid of it, and I wish I never did. Now I do now regret getting rid of my flight yoke, but... Okay! There's now a... Hang on, what are you? A piper. And now I've got to wait for this piper to go underneath my wing. Oh no, now there's another plane. Is it? It's not even telling me to hold. Uh, this game's not working. Normally it would say seven eight uh, KLM seven eight seven heavy hold caution over traffic. Well, this plane is clearly going into me. Clearly gonna crash straight through me. So yes, that's not realistic, but I do apologise. Not my fault. What are you doing? Oh my god, I am like, look at him, he's gone right up through me. Okay, if you want to do that, you go ahead and do that. I do need to get some more air traffic. I want to, basically, back in the day when I had the Flash and Letter 2003, I had every add-on packet going. I had all the photo realism add-ons. I had all the traffic add-ons which made it busier so I do need to get some more traffic for this some more AI traffic that's just flying around in the air because when I was on Flight Simulator 2003 or 2002 whichever one it was it was busy as hell oh now I've got to wait a million years for this Piper to shift out the way Oh god. It's not even telling me to hold. The game's glitching. <clears throat> now, what I don't get is, normally there's another traffic there, so it's normally telling me to hold because that tra traffic was going. But, we'll just go with it. I do apologise, I don't know why it's not working correctly. It didn't notify me that that plane was about to go through my plane.
Oh my god. The thing problem with this is I don't even think it has the up to date airport, so I'm not that clued up with it, so I do apologise, but I can't remember if Manchester Airport in the United Kingdom has more runways or anything's been changed to it, I'm not sure. I'm in a jumbo jet, big jet plane, and he's in a little propeller plane. So obviously it's going to take him a million years to get to the end of taxiway. Oh. There you go, see, it's working. Hold position caution of the traffic. Is this one behind me? No. I have no idea who the hell that was. I don't know. Ah! This small runway, when there's another runway over that side, no idea. I can't believe that I'm the only jumbo jet kind of jet plane actually taking off. There's two little propeller planes in front of me. I do totally enjoy this game. I want to get used to the new flight simulator that, that's come out, the 2020 edition. The only issue I'm having with that is the controls are so sensitive. This one, it's not as sensitive. You know, it it's hard to explain, but it's a, you, you can move a lot easier, a lot smoother if you get the drift. Come on. The good thing with this is it this can run on lowish hardware as long as you got the graphics because it's graphics intense. Near his propeller, his engine, little little motorcycle engine. That's what it feels like, a little scooter engine. You can hear it ticking away there.
Here we go. I was building up a bit of engine revs then. I like to do that, let the engine rev up a bit. Otherwise, it, it takes forever. I, I only do it for a few seconds. But here it goes. Say one three thousand. Okay. Now, I have noticed with this sometimes there is a bit of a glitch with this game. When you're doing the autopilot, it sometimes stalls. You just have to get the throttle right. Um, the how much vertical takeoff you've got when you're going up. So I have noticed where I am trying to do a perfect run, perfect flight, and my plane starts stalling or going too fast or whatever. The autopilot on this can be a bit finicky. Uh, they're all slightly laid out slightly differently in each plane, which is annoying. I wish they would just make one panel for every jumbo jet plane for autopilot. Because then it'd be so much easier, you just swap the panels out. Where if the panel breaks, the buttons, all the screens and this autopilot section should be the same on all planes. Because then if you do switch planes, you can get to grips with it a lot quicker. Because, But hey ho, it's just my opinion and personal preference. But fingers crossed up to now though, we are going a little bit better. So, fingers crossed we should all be good. I've turned my flaps off at the right time. If you leave your flaps on, you will stall easily. So I remembered to, to turn my flaps off. You only put your flaps on for, for when you're taking off. As soon as you're off, as soon as you're off, 
flaps, turn them off. So, you can see I've got it nice, smooth, not, the nose ain't too high in the high up, the tail ain't too low, but if that's that tilting like that, you tend to struggle. So I'm just giving you a few tips and you probably know all this but I am just a novice, a big winner when it comes to this kind of thing. What what I'm to hear? Thirteen. Yeah. So I'm just giving myself a little bit more throttle. I have got auto throttle on as well. I don't know what these approach hold and nav hold do. I've just got to be careful not to get the nose up too much. Because if I do that then you're screwed. Just a tad bit more speed. It might not matter because it's on auto throttle. So the computer's controlling the throttle. So while that's doing that, I'll leave you with that and I'll go and check my tea. Again, right. While that's doing that, 
I shall be back. Just turning to try and get on this purple line. So it's actually going quite okay at the moment touch wood so yeah I'm not going to do the, do the whole journey on this one video this is just a quick take off and to show you that it's actually working and just to have a bit general chit chat about what's going on what's that? light detector there's, there's all kinds of things on here that I still yet to figure out but I enjoy flying planes um, going up flight simulator. I do need to go on the new one and practice that a heck of a lot because this is flight simulator X. I am so out of whack. I know the basics, but there's so much more I can do with this game. It's unbelievable.